Okay, hopefully this um, is clear. I can't tell. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see just how clear it is. Anyway, I want to do a quick Irma video for you guys, the different ways to wear an Irma after posting my little questionnaire today. I know, Becky, you had some questions about it, so I hope this answers some of the questions um, regarding all the different things you can do with the Irma. So hopefully you guys can see me okay. Um, all right, so this, let's get started. This Irma is actually two sizes bigger than what I normally wear. I probably could have actually went one more size for some of the styles that I'm gonna show you. Um, so you could probably go two to three sizes bigger than what your normal size is in the Irma. Um, it runs large anyway. Um, they tell us to size down two sizes if we just wanna wear it you know, as a shirt with a pair of leggings or jeans or whatnot. But um, if you wanna do some different styles with it, you can actually go up in size in the Irma and um, get a couple different ways to wear it out of one shirt. Okay, so obviously this is as an Irma. I just have a pair of leggings on. I just rolled them up as capris today. And this is how this looks. So my first one, um, one of the things you can do, I'm gonna kind of look to the mirror here while I do it. Let's see. If you wanna bring it up a little bit, you can do a little side gathering. I like to get a black, ponytail holder and just do a once one time around and then I tuck the tail in and I give it like a little rosette and you don't have to play with it a little bit to get it just the way you want it but it's super cute if you can do it and Kind of style it the way you want. You could do it up a little up and down. It still covers the backside. Or if you want to bring it up and wear it more like a shirt, you can certainly do that as well. I kind of like my backside covered a little bit more. So I could probably do it like that. Super cute. But now it's a little bit more fitted. For all my short girls worried about the Irma and how long it is. See how it totally brought that up. Okay. And that's a little rosette that I did on the hip. That's one way. Another way, grab your ponytail holder again. And I don't know if I can show you this. Let's see. You're going to kind of grab, go inside the arm. I'm going to try to do it without taking the shirt off. You could do it before you put the shirt on if you want. Take the inside, take like a little tail. And as much tail as you want is going to determine how short the arm is going to be. In the back so maybe about that much take my ponytail holder give it maybe one or two ties around if I can do it without looking here let's see if I can do this okay bring it back down we look in the mirror and kind of gives it a little fan if I you guys can see that totally brought up the length again for my short girls it gave it a little design in the back I know this shirt's hard to see because it's got a lot of design going on but gives it like a little sheared look. Can you see that okay? And it makes it a little bit more fitted in the front. And that's how it looks. It's got a ponytail hole. It's not uncomfortable. I don't feel it at all. You could put it down lower, you could put it up higher, you could pull in more uh, material if you want it even shorter. If you want it longer, use less material and it'll be longer. But that's another way to do it. Okay. All right, and take it out. And you could just do a, let's see if I get it. Um, you could do a pony in the front if you wanted to with a little rosette in the front. Just gather it again, get your ponytail holder. And then I always do like a little half, like tuck in the tail of it a little bit. And then again, just kind of fan out the pieces, make it like a little rosette, as well as you can. And then maybe pop it up a little bit, make it more like that. You can also have a cover to the backside if you want, or you can pull it up if you don't mind and you want to wear it more like a shirt. I didn't tuck this too well. There we go. You could do it like that. And that's cute too. 
okay? I need you to see it. So that's another way you can do it. Um, let's see. You can, let me back up a little bit. You can do, hopefully I can do this on camera without exposing myself here. You can take it off one shoulder, like such. Okay, take the, move over a little bit, take the sleeve, tuck it in, make like a pocket, kind of straighten it out. And look in the mirror real quick, see what I'm doing here. And now you have like a dress, off the shoulder dress, and you can't even tell. Depending on the, the um, pattern too, some disguise it better than others. You could do that. You could put a belt on it right here if you wanted to. Put like a wide belt. Or you could just leave it like this. Hopefully I tucked it right. I'm not looking at what I'm doing. Can you see that? That's one other way to do it. I've seen some ladies wear it like this. Um, oh, and if you wanted to make the sleeve shorter on that side, you can always pull the sleeve up a little bit, roll it over, kind of like what you do with the leggings as when you turn them into capris, and it will totally stay. If you wanted a little bit of a shorter sleeve, so it's not as long on one side, that's an option. Okay, and let's see. Um... Let me see, I'm looking at my notes here. What other things I've done with it? Let's see. I think this is one that Becky was asking me about. Take the sleeve back out, pull the sleeve down. And I'm probably gonna step out of frame for just a second because I gotta pull it down around. I just don't want <laughs> I don't want this video to be censored. Hang on one second. So excuse my bra here in the foot in the video. So now I've just pulled it. This is the neck, and I've just literally pulled it down to right here. These are the sleeves, and I know all you ladies are gonna text me and say, "Doesn't that stretch it out?" Well, yes, it does. But our clothes have spandex, so the moment you wash it, the form, the shape comes right back. So now I have it like this. Here's the sleeves. And I could do a bunch of different things from this point. I could tie it here and make a dress. Of course, I would probably have a strapless bra on, not my bra. And now I've got a really cute dress. I don't have to wear it with leggings. I just have leggings on right now. You see that? And you could tuck these in so it looks more like a knot. Sorry about the tag. So you now you don't have the ends sticking out. It looks more like a little rosette again do that I think I've seen it tied behind the back like this so it's tight in the back I didn't really tie it I just want to do it show it to you real quick you could do it like that and then this is the one I believe Becky was asking me about how to wear like a halter shirt so now I think I'm gonna have to use a mirror real quick let's see and I think I should have probably gone up three sizes for me personally um, because this, let's see, I don't have as much of a cowl neck here. Well, that's not too bad. And I'm actually, you could tie it around your neck or you could take a pony. For me, it's easier to do a pony and just tie the sleeves because my hair covers it anyway and I have short hair. So just take it like that. Now you have it like this. Can you see that? Sorry, I don't have the camera positioned real well. And I would probably grab my trusty wide belt, throw that on over it. I can get it here. And now, straighten it out a little bit. It looks like this. And this is not the maxi. This is with an Irma, almost like the vest look that I did with the uh, with the maxi. So I think this is the one you were asking me about, Becky. Oh, here's the back. I probably, again, probably wear a strapless bra with it so you can see bra straps or however you feel comfortable wearing it. It's actually very comfortable from the side, from the front. And this is the Irma 
worn as a shirt. I mean, sorry, as a halter. Obviously the Irma is a shirt. So what do you think? That's a couple different ways to wear the Irma. Again, size up if you want to do all these fun different looks, um, just so it's not, you know, as binding and as tight. Um, maybe two to three sizes up from what your normal size is. Okay, guys, hope this was helpful. Hope the video wasn't too long. And I uh, hope I answered some questions for you regarding all the different ways to wear the Irma. Take care.